when they were building cars though back those days, if they had a transmission case and they wanted to put gears in or something just normally, uh, common sense tells you, if they were going to make a gear, they wouldn't make a miniature gear with little bitty teeth and real fine teeth. Yeah. They weren't into that. They were making coarse teeth, 10 splines. A gear this big all only had 10 splines on it. Right. So these spline would be really thick. Right. And super strong. Yeah. They didn't want to do a lot of miniature machining, did Th they? That's right. They didn't. They, they didn't have that in their knowledge and or their equipment to do it. Right. So they just yeah. did it big and strong. Yeah, and right. And the, some of these automatic dock transmissions now are so fine tooth. No wonder they break all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But they didn't have the quality of machinery to make anything miniature or weaker. Yeah. They made the three quarter ton or nothing at all. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's a good question. Really. Yeah, it is a good He's question. Thinking about it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you for that. The same way lug nuts, lug nuts and 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 the uh, lug bolts are the same size today as they were then. <laughs> if not then, they were bigger. You know. That's a good example. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. A, an early 50s car, lug nuts, and they had very little horsepower compared to these cars today. Yeah, right, yeah. And today we still got the same five lug nuts going uh, it's <laughs> Could be a five or 600 horsepower. 300 miles an hour, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> and they're not even scared. I'd be scared. Right. <laughs>